we're going to start by downloading the files from the project restoration websites and you can click here and this will scroll down automatically and you have to click on the download again next go to your retro arch folder go inside of the saves folder and if you don't see a Citro folder in here you can run retro arch then run a game with the Citro core and all the folders should be created automatically you can now close retro arch refresh the folder then go inside of the Citro folder Citro again loads now it needs to create a new folder here called mods and inside of the mods folder we need to create a new folder in here with the game id and to see the game id you can go back to the restoration project and they have here the ids for the american european and japanese version of the game and in my case it's the american version then go back to the folder and paste the name in here now go inside of the folder go to where you have downloaded the files from the project restoration and now this is the tricky part because I don't know what version I should use to my game version I guess and I'm just going to do some trial and error I'm going to start with version 100 go inside of the version 100 then Citra because we are using the Citra emulator and then you have to copy or select the code.pps and then the X adder and place it in the folder that we created with the game ID and now start retro arch run the Majora's Mask and if the game crashes this means that this is not the right files and then you have to delete them go back go to version 101 Citra copy X adder and code run the game again and it's not the right version again now go back delete go back in the files go to version 110 this should be it's the last one It's the only one we haven't tested yet so it should work Go inside of the Cedar folder, copy the codes, and then X adder dot pin. Run the game, and now it's running correctly. And you should hear a sound in here before the Majora's Mask main title or title screen. And now that you know what version it is, if you want to use the code faster aiming this should be or this should give you a faster aiming I guess you need to copy this to here and then copy the code or you can just delete this one and delete the faster aim and just leave the code dot pps now go back to RatRatch, run the game again And now the project restoration should be working correctly with the correct version of the files and the correct for your correct version of the game. That's it for this video and thank you for watching.